right, I was requested a video of my cart. I am actually adding another fishing pole holder because I need one more. I'm taking six poles tomorrow. Um, and I only have, let's see, I only have three on this side and two on that side. So I'm gonna probably add one right here. Also, the cooler, I, I don't know if you guys even seen this, my Yeti. I know, big money. Uh, this is the fish thing where you put the fish on this end and you're able to measure it. We got measures out for snooks already and there's a couple measure for uh, some snapper. Um, it's pretty simple. I, it's actually, you find this on Amazon, it's pretty cheap, it's not bad. It's like 20 bucks and it comes with screws. Well, it doesn't come with screws. It comes with the screw holes where you can mount it anywhere and this cheap cooler is my fishing cooler. So this is just what I did and got the little tie down because we drive fast and another little tie down to keep the lid closed because from experience I have had a cooler fly open with snapper and it was hilarious. Uh, me, my sister, my friend John thought that there was gonna be no fish left in the cooler, but luckily we just lost a bunch of ice and the fish stayed in there. So I learned my lesson from that. Uh, cheap cooler, no lock, make a lock, done. Um, I also made modifications to my bay bucket, so I didn't have to worry about the, worry about the oxygen, which kind of screwed me over the last time we went fishing, trying to pull the lid off. Um, I basically made a, a ring down at the bottom uh, and all that ring does is just has little pinholes in there that I made um, with one air connection and I had multiple air connections before and that was no good um, so now there's only one and I made the hose I mean the hose literally wraps around this whole thing comes outside there and this is where I end up plugging my my bubbler the bubbler gets plugged into that and it's just one connection so we don't have to worry about uh, losing the bubbler and killing all the shrimp like we did. So that's that. Let's go ahead and put this fishing pole holder on here and, um, and call it a day. All right, so here's what I got so far. This is the fishing pole holder. Uh, you, you might have done this, you might have not. Super easy to get PVC pipe. Um, I made this cut right here. Um, you can tell me in the comments if you want. I know I'm a professional. So I used this reciprocating saw, which works great for anything like this. I could have took my time, but I don't really care. It's just to hold a fishing pole. And I also used this step drill bit right here uh, to make this initial hole. Um, the goal is to have a hole big enough for the drill bit and the screw to go through so you can get back to what you're mounting to. I use this center punch to punch the hole of where it needs to go on the cart on the bottom. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll get it mounted on the cart. Good enough. All right, I think we're ready to go mount it. So I got my favorite type of screws for something like this, self tappers, two of them. Um, that's that's what I used to eat on that back pole over there uh, you could put a bolt all the way through it, it's too much work it that's way too much work for this it's just a fishing cart so quick and easy um, so I got this we might need to make the holes a little bigger uh, we are gonna need to make the holes bigger so I'm gonna go get that step drill bit again make these bigger and then we'll be at it professional crooked just like that I got an extra hole, but it's all good to go. Put the poles in, ready to fish.